Hello dear YouTubers friends, welcome to my channel Python Science and Data Science. I'm going to talk to you about modern physics and how you can make a Python program to simulate a program like this. Please like and subscribe to this channel. This is the specific subject that I will address here is the infinite square well. The problem you are going to solve is about to find the probability that a particle is in a certain region within one infinite square well in the ground state and the first excited state. We will also show the graphs as representing those wave functions. What would be an infinite potential well? Basically, it is when we fictitiously consider a particle in a box. This idea is just an analogy to understand such a quantum system. The actual particle must be have a subatomic size like an electron or proton. We will reduce that box to one dimension. The box will have a weight way where it goes from minus a divided by 2 to a divided by 2. The particle is considered free inside the box. However, when it reaches the wall, there is a force acting on it and it ends up being reflected. Since the potential doesn't depend on timing, we will be able to use the time independent arranging equation to find the sine wave function. If the particle is confined to the box, we can't find the particle outside the box. So, the wave function for x less than or equal to minus a divided by 2 and x greater than or equal a divided by 2 is 0. We know that the potential of V is zero inside the box and outside the box where the position X is less than or equal to minus A divided by two or X is greater than or equal to A divided by two, the potential is infinite. In this way, the particle is confined within the box. This is Schrodinger's time independent equation. Inside the box, we will put V0 as 0. When we apply the zero potential value in the equation, we will have this equation inside the box. The differential equation must be solved to find the sine wave function. I will not show the details of this resolution, only the result. Thus, the wave function inside the box is given by psi of x equal a cosine of kx plus b sine kx. The constants a and b are obtained by the boundary conditionals, that is, replacing the value of x equal to minus a divided by 2 and x equal to a divided by 2 in psi equal to 0 and also by normalizing the probability density function. These calculations aren't so difficult to do, but I will not show it here because that isn't the intention of this video. The results of the possible wave functions inside the box are presented here. Psi of x is equal to the square root of 2 divided by a times cosine of n pi divided by a times x, where n is an odd number. Or, psi of x is equal to the square root of 2 divided by a times sine of n pi divided by a times x, where n is an even number. The problem that we will solve is described here. 
Consider a particle of mass m is an infinite well of width a. Assuming the particle is in the ground state, calculate the density of probability as a function of x. What is the probability of finding the particle in the right half of the box that is between 0 and a divided by 2? How likely is it to find it in the central half of the box between minus a divided by 4 and a divided by 4? Repeat items 1, 2 and 3. Now, assuming the particle is in the first excited stage. For items 1, 2 and 3, we will use the wave function for n equal to 1 where this particle is in the ground state. The probability of the particle between inside the box depends on the square module of the wave function. The result of this is 2 divided by a times cosine squared pi x divided by a. Then, the probability of the particle being between 0 and a divided by 2 is given by the integral of the squaring model of the wave function between 0 to a divided by 2. The result of this integral is 0 0.5. The calculation of the probability of the particle being between minus a divided by 4 and a divided by 4 is done in the same way only changing the initial and final values of the integral. So, the probability is approximately 82%. We will repeat these calculations, however, for the first excited stage. We need to take the wave function where n equal 2. Then, for the particle to be between 0 to a divided by 2, in the first excited stage, just solve this integral where the result of 0 0.5. The probability of the particle being between minus a divided by 4 and the a divided by 4 also gives this result 0 0.5. Are you going to put everything I said in Python? Here is the spider open. The imported libraries were matplotlib.pyplot, numpy, and sumpy. Let's suppose that the well has a width of 100, so the position of well walls is minus 50 and 50. We have to solve for integrals, correct? The first two integrals are related to the calculations of a particle in the fundamental stage and the last two integrals in the first excited stage. The first integral, which is to calculate the probability of the particle in the ground state to be between 0 and 50, is shown here. I asked you to round the probability to two decimal places. The second integral calculates the probability of the particle being between minus 25 to 25. The calculations are repeated for the first excited stage. See how the wave function changes within the integral. Now, Let's see the two wave functions in the ground stage and the first excited stage. For this, I defined the off interval for x and wrote each of the functions. Psi1 is the wave function in the ground stage and psi2 is the wave function in the first excited stage. The commands for plotting the graphs are shown here. Now, if you will run the program, see that the result was the same as our theory. Why is it that in this case of the wave function for the first excited state, the result was the same? 
See the wave function in the first excited state in blue. When we scare this blue function, it becomes symmetrical in this way. Let's make a graph to see this. Note that it doesn't matter if you integrate for 0 to a divided by 2 or from minus a divided by 4 to a divided by 4, that the result will be the same. I hope it has shown in a more didactic way what it is like to calculate the probability of a particle being inside a potential square well. If you have any questions, write me here in the comments and I will answer your question. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. Bye!